Hmm? Not much to tell, really. I'm a Red Guard from Hammerfell. Joined the Alakir at an early age, but left it all behind to live a life on the road. I was in the service of the Fighters Guild in Cyrodiil for a time, before crossing the border into Skyrim in search of more lucrative work. The Silverblood family and Markarth are a frequent client of mine. Seems like they have a few bones to pick with the Forsworn of the Reach. I suppose there is something you could do for me. You see, I've been searching for a certain blade, an heirloom of sorts, that I'd like to get my hands on. The last anyone knows, it had fallen into the hands of the Forsworn of the Reach. I was hoping I'd stumble across it eventually. If you find it, I'd much appreciate it if you would bring it back to me. The blade's name is Embersunder. The one place I haven't yet been to is Hag's End, southwest of Solitude. The Forsworn there may have their hands on it. What can this one do for you, hmm? Fancy a bit of hunting? This one sells bear traps as well. Come and take a look. Business is good here. Many adventurers come by seeking to test their metal in the barrow on the eastern side of the island. This one provides them the means of keeping themselves alive in such a dangerous place. It is a good relationship, yes? It is a curious thing. Why would anyone want to come to such an unwelcoming land? But the fact is, many adventurers do. And in the footsteps of those adventurers, gold surely follows. This one needs something? This one keeps an eye on the customers. If you need to trade, speak to Jashavita. That decision was not mine. Just Javidar goes where there is profit to be made. And on an island like this, there is much profit to be made. It is a cold place, and the people that work here are colder. Still, this one holds to her duties, no matter where the road takes us. One day, though, I hope that road takes us back to the warm sands of elsewhere. Beautiful, isn't it? But to behold my face is to stare into the hearts of the gods themselves. So, there I was, admiring myself in the mirror when I thought, where on Nern are my stunningly good looks needed the most? Naturally, my thoughts came to rest upon the bleakest land in all of Tamriel, Worms Tooth. So, with that in mind, I packed up my bags and made the perilous voyage to this remote mining village and enlisted in the mines. Why, you should have seen the look on Lurius's face! I was a beacon of light for that poor soul stumbling alone in the dark. Much like the look on your face as we speak. Marvelous, aren't I? I'd love to tell you more, but I'm new to this place myself. Maybe Gildan can tell you more. She does like to fixate on boring details. Me? I am a man of nature. A man of the heart and of the soul. But more specifically, the face. Just leave me alone. I do what I can to convince people not to kill my husband. He can be a bit much at times, I know. But I do love him. I have no idea why, though. I'm beginning to think I may have been cursed by a warlock. I don't know what else to say, really. I only just moved here myself. I've heard rumors about this place. Seems like they were true. What can I do for you? You dense? What does it look like I do? That's for me to know, and for you to find out. Well, you're asking the wrong innkeeper there. <laughs> I'll wager the previous innkeeper had a few good stories to share. Sadly, he died in Dragonfire. I do. It's yours for ten gold. What say you? Great. Right this way. If you need anything, just shout it out. And by shout, 
I don't mean, you know. Come one, come all, the rarest of wares from across the lands of Tamriel. And you're... you, whatever you may be. It's a bit hard for me to tell with these eyes. But don't let my appearance fool you. I assure you my wares are only the highest quality. Well, let's just call it an occupational hazard when dealing with Tilvani sorcerers. One bad deal and papow, suddenly I'm a mud crab. It's not my fault he couldn't recognize a bargain when he saw one. But worry not, I'm not letting my disability prevent me from doing what I do best, selling only the best wares at low, low prices. Well, I tried to set up a stall in solitude, but my physique tends to scare away prospective buyers. Not to mention some folk have a penchant for crab meat. Cannibals they are. So long as my contact with the East Empire Company doesn't expire, I'll be out here selling my wares. Hold that, Traveler. This mine is off-limits. We discovered a rare ebony vein, and we're working on expanding the mine. Little did we know that we were barring towards a Spriggan Sanctuary. They tore us up in no time. Only me and Gytrek over there survived the ordeal. Had it not been for Gytrek, I wouldn't have made it out alive. The ebony would mean a great deal to the Empire, but we can't get anywhere near it with those Spriggans inside. Truly? I appreciate the assistance, but do be wary. They are known to bend the will of animals against the unsuspecting, and their magic is deadly. Why do you disturb the sanctity of Kine? Speak. Fascinating. I wonder then, what guides your actions? Or do you flitter from here to there? On all but a mere whim. Your power is known to me. All is one in kind's embrace. I offer you the chance to restore the balance disturbed by those miners. Kill the miners. Only their remains can nurture new life to replace that which they stole so violently. Return to me when the deed is done. Seems like everyone got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning. I suppose it meets expectations. Cold, unforgiving, and that's just its people. But there is a mystery to this island that is hard to pin down. My advice is to get out there and explore every nook and cranny this island has to offer. Who knows what you'll find. I tend the garden here. If you need any herbs, you know who to ask. It was a name given to me when I was but a hatchling. It's only a coincidence that my current line of work involves working the soil. Please, Traveler, uh, spare me a moment. Uh, I was waylaid by bandits a short time ago. They took everything I had on me and left me in this sorry state. But in the struggle, uh, they chased away my dear wolf, Phalor. Please, Traveler, you have to find her. Uh, by now she could be lost, injured, or, or worse. Uh, she headed down the hill, past the town, and off towards the mountains. I've tried calling for her, but maybe she's too scared to return. With these injuries, I can't track her myself, but she'll follow you now that you have my scent. Just keep an eye out for a wolf with a rust-colored pelt. She shouldn't be too hard to spot against the white snow. <clears throat> Hurry, before hunters catch her. Don't let the Draugr creep up on you out there. They've been uh, restless as of late. I tend the Hall of the Dead. Many miners come to this island seeking their fortune, and many of them end up dead. 
That makes me a busy man. Occasionally I wander the roads, wherever R.K. bids me. It's a cold and unforgiving place. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone aside from those who do the work of R.K. It draws all the wrong sorts. I should know. I once served as a healer for a party looking to explore that dungeon. Adventurers treat it as a rite of passage. Those who survive it are regarded highly in adventuring circles. And rightly so. Bandits, on the other hand, continue to pillage through its ruins every day, hoping adventurers make its deeper chambers more accessible. Long has it been since someone last set foot in my tomb. Approach my sarcophagus. If you see that Khajiit merchant, you can tell him to stick his cheap Khajiit wares up where the sun doesn't shine. <laughs> Did you get a load of Nalion? Pointy-eared Pumpernickel. I feel sorry for his wife, Gildan. Nobody should have to put up with that nonsense. My advice? Get out there and explore it for yourself. It's a big island. Bigger than folks give it credit for. Heard some folks were having trouble at the steam pools. You're an adventurer, right? Maybe you can do something about it. Other than that, maybe try the records at the trade house if you're looking to learn more about the history of the island. Mm, my husband knows, but he refuses to tell anyone about it. Good luck trying to find out. Nothing stands between me and fortune. Look, fortunes I clearly unfold. don't have the time. Okay. I mine. The question is, what do you do here? Yes, I heard you save the town from that dragon. But honestly, the Imperial sent a full contingent to put the beast to the sword. That problem would have been solved without your intervention. Oh, and now look at us. Stuck with a gloating hero. Look, I only just moved here with my brother and sister. I don't know anything about this place aside from the mine. If you're here to work, grab a pickaxe and get to it. Otherwise, just leave us be. Blast those bandits! If they interfere with my work again, I'll cook them easy over! I suppose there is something you could do for me, if you're up for it. I'm running low on wisp wrappings. I only have a couple left, and they're absolutely critical to my uh, experiments. Bring me five, and I'll give you some sort of uh, enchanted weapon. <laughs> It'll be useful for hitting things. That is what you adventurers do, right? Wait! Five might be too few. I might run out too quickly. Uh, better make it eight. Or fifteen! Uh, scratch that. Eight should be enough. Hmm. Where is it? If my calculations are correct, you can find them wrapping wisps. That's the most likely place you'll find wisp wrappings. I'd send a draugr to find them for me, but have you ever tried shipping a draugr to the mainland? The East Empire Company would have none of it! I'd call the guard to have you removed from these premises, but that would just be a waste of my breath. If it wasn't for the coin, I'd have taken the first ship back to Windhelm. That's the kind of place Worm's Tooth is. I'm supposed to be the cleaner, but somebody has to step up and maintain order when Lurius is absent. You'd struggle to gather at least half a wit among the miners, or the orcs for that matter. Yes, in fact, there is something you can help me with, if you care to hear me out. A few moments ago, an ignorant lout walked into the trade house and started pestering me, asking me all sorts of bothersome questions. 
Tell me about Worm's Tooth. What do you do here? It's an unbearable burden on these tired old ears. So, I want you to do something about it. Remove this individual from the trade house by whatever means necessary. Go on. Write it in your journal. Good. Well, what are you waiting for? I've given you a quest. Now get to it. Congratulations. You're halfway to becoming a true hero of the people. <laughs>